friends and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Today I'm going to be working on some mercury glass DIYs because you guys seem to really like that in my last video. And also just some really pretty um, cozy and homey decor ideas. So I would love for you to join me. We're going to be starting out in my yard because I'm going to be taking this glass vase from the Dollar Tree and this little, it's like a little candy dish from the Dollar Tree. And this, um, you can use any containers that you have um, because we are just going to be using this mirror mirror spray like I did in my last video. You guys really like that. I have a couple more ideas if you want to see them, let me know. Um, and you just take whatever container you're using and give it a, a good coat. I usually do a really thin coat um, each time. You don't, with this stuff, you don't want to layer it on super thick like you would um, spray paint. So I just sprayed the bottom and now I'm just going to spray the inside because with this mirror mirror spray or um, looking glass spray, you want to spray the inside or um, the opposite side of what's going to be um, facing out, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like my last DIY, Go back to that if you want to see like how you could make like a mercury glass or faux um, vintage antiqued mirror. Um, so I just sprayed this bowl and it doesn't matter if you get like the little leaky spots there because you're going to take um, a wet paper towel and some vinegar and water mixed together and spray it on the um, where you just spray painted and dab it with the paper towel. And this is going to give you that old vintage look like the mercury glass look. And then you just keep doing that. You do light layers and this stuff dries super fast. And you just give it a, another good coat and then spray it again and just keep dabbing until you're happy with how it looks. And then for this vase, it's a little bit more difficult. Not, not too bad, it's kind of fun. But you wanna get a good amount in there. You don't have to coat it evenly you just spray until it starts like dripping and then you kind of like roll around the vase or whatever you're using until you get it coated and you just keep turning it until it like coats itself and you want to get a good amount or you could leave it like that those cool <laughs> designs would be awesome once they dried but I wanted to show you I don't necessarily recommend using a blow dryer but um, I just wanted to show you how fast it dries and how cool it looks. If you can see up at the top, it dries like really um, like with a chrome finish. But I'm doing it outside because obviously when you spray spray paint and then use a hair dryer, it makes the fumes really bad. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you, I think that is so cool how fast it works. But I ended up going back and um, spraying more in there and then just rolling it around until it coated the whole thing. And I'll show you that shortly. But this is the little candy dish. And because this stuff kind of rubs off easily, somebody had suggested painting um, after you're, you know, you're done coating with the mirror mirror spray. Somebody suggested painting um, over top of it. That way it kind of seals it which I thought that was brilliant. I'd, <laughs> I'd never even thought to do that. So um, she said to use latex paint, that that works the best. Well, I didn't have any in the color that I wanted, so I'm trying a little bit of um, acrylic paint because I wanted to go with like another um, metallic -y look, metallic -y color. So I first did like a copper color and then I wanted it to be a little bit more intense, so I went with this bronze. And I wanna thank you for giving me the idea to paint over it and seal it in thank you thank you that will make my projects a lot more fun because before I was having to be really careful <laughs> to not rub it off um, but like I said in the beginning if you guys want to see more of these mercury glass um, projects let me know because I have a few more ideas and um, a few, few more experiments I want to try <laughs> so let me know in the comments but that bronze paint. It looks really cool. I just need to give it a couple more coats because it's kind of streaky. And I think it's super pretty. And 
And I thought it would be cute with these little kisses in there. Those are my favorite, by the way. They are so good. So if you haven't tried them, they're the candy cane ones. They're, they're awesome. I'm allergic to chocolate, so those are the best things next to regular Hershey Kisses. <laughs> And then this is that vase. I didn't, wasn't sure how I wanted to style it, but I threw some candy canes in there and some greenery. And I thought it looked kind of wintry and Christmassy if you wanted to go that direction. But isn't it so pretty? I love the mirror look to it. For this next one, another super simple DIY, I am taking a bowl from the Dollar Tree and I am painting it white. You're going to think I'm crazy, but <laughs> I wanted it to be um, more of like a shiny white because I wanted to do this DIY. I wanted it to look like um, the en enamel finish bowls. Um, so I went with a high gloss white and just coated it really well. So will you guys let me know what kind of DIYs you're looking forward to seeing or what you're sick of? Are you guys done with Christmas and ready to move on? Um, just let me know. Give me ideas for videos. Also, if you're into decorating and cleaning videos and stuff like that, I have another channel if you'd like to subscribe. I just put up my um, Christmas Decorate With Me video where I decorated um, part of my house. I have a couple other um, videos coming out as well. So if you'd like to check that out, that channel is Life, Love, and Endless Laundry. I would love for you to join me over there. So for this bowl, after it dried, I am taking a wet sponge. Well, it's damp. I squeezed out most of the water. <laughs> and I'm using some black paint. You could use red if you're going with like the Christmas look. But I wanted to be able to use this, you know, all year round. And then just dab it along the edge of the bowl to give it that like chipped enamel look. I'm sure you've seen them at like Hobby Lobby and stuff. I just think they're super cool looking. And I just made a mistake and dabbed it on the edge, which I ended up liking. It gives it more of the chippy look. So I added a few more. <laughs> So that's where I goofed. So I'm just going to add some more just to make it look like it was on purpose. <laughs> and then I'm taking some ornaments. These happen to be from the Dollar Tree, but you could use whatever you have. And I did this a little bit backwards. You're going to see me struggle here in a... <laughs> in a minute. I should have put the tree in first, but I was so excited to put the ornaments in. And these little ones are also from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm taking this tree. This is from the Target Dollar Spot and it still has one of the acorns um, that I did. I did an um, acorn ornament video. If you want to see that, I'll link that up in the cards above. And this is where I was really struggling. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put the tree in first. That was really, really dumb. <laughs> and pops of red or green or whatever your color scheme is in your house, I think would look really pretty. There's my lonely little acorn. And I think this is a perfect um, decor piece to put in your bathroom. I don't know why, <laughs> but I see this as um, a decoration piece for your bathroom. And I believe that's probably where I'm going to be putting it in my house. And for this last one, I saw this at a cute little um, shop when I went with my mom and my daughter. 
and I wanted to recreate it. So I'm taking this scrap piece of wood and some brown paint, a couple different colors. Usually I use a baby wipe for this technique, but I didn't have any more, so I'm just using a wet rag and dabbing it into the brown paints and smearing it on. Sorry, I had to readjust my lighting because the sun was coming in super bright. <laughs> and I just keep um, wetting my rag so it doesn't go on super thick. And I ended up having to flip the board and redoing this um, process because I ruined the first side. But I just wanted to show you kind of the technique if you haven't seen it before. And then um, you don't have to let it dry. You take the next color that you're using and layer it on top. You're just trying to give it like a stained look without using smelly stains. So here, because I don't have any cursive stencils, I'm asking for some for Christmas, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, I am freehanding this and I was really nervous about it because I am not good with freehand. So that's why I was starting with um, a pencil. And I might redo it because my letters were all crooked, but I'm having fun practicing. <laughs> and the sign is going to say, give it to God and go to sleep, which is something I guess I really need to work on because I get super stressed and can't sleep. And when I showed this to my mom, she said that that's something I should practice a little bit more of. And when I showed it to my husband, he said the same thing. So obviously I need to do better. <laughs> so I went through about four markers that didn't work. <laughs> I also need to add markers to my Christmas list, apparently. So I kept having, I was trying with this marker to use black paint, so I kept dabbing it in the paint because I can, I can steer markers better or control them better than a paintbrush. So that's why I was using the paint on the marker because this marker was all dried out. And then I just gave up and went and got some Sharpies from the store because this process was just taking a little bit too long and it wasn't very even, so it was kind of messing with my letters. And these are the Sharpies I ended up getting. If you have paint pens too, that would work awesome. So I've been um, kind of practicing with um, freehand, you know, doing the fancy letters. I'm not very good at it yet, but I have learned like first you just kind of get the outline of what you want. And then you can go back in and like fill in um, to make some of the letters thicker in some spots. But first just get it down, get the words down what you want them to say. And obviously I should have used a ruler and probably centered it better, but I can always redo, redo this. I just love the idea of this sign. If you have any um, freehand techniques or tips that you can give me, that would be awesome. I would love to hear the ideas that you guys have and what you do to, I don't know, make them look super pretty. <laughs> Well guys, I have a couple more Christmas videos coming up 
in the next couple of weeks. I also am collabing with a really fun group of girls over on my other channel um, doing um, a Christmas video, like Christmas decorate with me in our houses. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. And also, if you're new here, I would love for you to join our YouTube family over here as well. Don't forget to let me know your video ideas. I always love to hear um, any suggestions and stuff. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for all your love and support, guys. I really appreciate you and love you. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.